I remember I had just started my self-improvement journey and the only thing I was doing for the first few months was just reading a shit ton of books, like different types, like Rich Dad Poor Dad, you know, um, Think and Grow Rich, stuff like that, you know. And I was also watching a bunch of YouTube videos because these two were like the basics that you could start off of. And I really remember like watching a shit ton of videos like how to start your first side hustles. Uh, so how, how to start your first side hustle. Um, how to get like even 50, 100 euros a, a week. I thought like, can I at least get a, a bit of that just so that I can live way easier, like have a way easier life so I don't have to work a part-time job or just not have such stress with my financial situation. And just, you know, make it easier for me as well. You know, because it was Easter and stuff like that. And I also had COVID at the time, you know, all that shit, you know. And I had to go through all of that. And I thought, you know, I have like a few weeks. Let me just start worrying about side hustles. Let me just do something useful with my life. Except, you know, playing video games. And I remember I found a lot of how to invest and where to invest, you know, stocks, and what what else there was there uh, like um nfts like crypto you should buy crypto bro you should buy nfts like no bro like like thank god they realized it so early in my self-improvement journey because con- i actually considered buying stocks like i was ready i was going to i think it was um how's it called like some apps i forgot how they're called and I really, I, I was ready to uh, buy some stocks and stuff like that. I was like, oh yeah, let me do it. Let me just buy some stocks and be ready to, for, you know, to start making money as well. But then I saw some other YouTubers and some really good, uh, some, some, some really good advice. Because like, I thought about it. How much money am I going to make if the interest is like 1% a year? Minus that with fucking inflation and really, how much are you getting? You're going to have to wait at least 60, 50, 70 years to get 100,000 or $200,000. Like, if you're investing like 50 to 100, is it really worth it? Like, it's so fucking stupid. Like, I really thought about this and I was like, of course you're going to have to invest more to get more out of, you know, the percentage. Like, if you invest 100,000, you're going to get way more than if you invest 100. By the end of those years, the, that like five, ten years that pass, the money that you're gonna get if you invest 100k is gonna be way more if you invest if you invest like 100. That's like basic knowledge, but that's basic math. You will be out most middle class by the end of like 60. Like when you're gonna be 60, you're gonna be at least like, like mostly middle class because the one million dollars now or a bit less actually because you're gonna get way less it's not that much like believe me like you need way more than a few million to be rich being middle class especially is like one of the worst things by the way because you're literally in the worst position you can be you either have it all you either want to have it all or have or have nothing and you're really like you're, you have a lot of uh, you have a lot to lose that's the point if you don't have anything, it's much less riskier. And if you have everything, it's much less riskier. If you have almost everything you want, but you're in the middle class and, you know, you're chilling there, you're in the worst possible position, bro. You will never become rich from investing. Like, you have to get rich first and then invest. You have to get, you have to start making at least 10k a month before investing in actual stocks and shares and all of that bullshit. So now that we got that dumbass belief in, out, out of your brain, what you need to do now is rewire yourself. What should you spend the money on? Of course, not, not drugs, not women, nothing like that, no video games, not, not you know fancy, flashy watches, no cars. I would suggest investing it back into your education. Like, how do you think most of these guys that actually became rich and have so much knowledge how do you think they got there? Especially if like, if you take for example Hamza, he needed like three years to get where he is now, three to four years. Most of his progress were done was done in three to four years. And he makes more than 100k a month. Think about that. What do you think he's doing? Do you think he's like, he's some special person? Do you think like he's some alien? 
with special abilities. No, bro. He's the same as us. We don't have money. Neither, neither did he have. The point is that he invested in his education, bro. He invested in courses. He invested in books. He invested in mentors. He invested in something that actually helps him elevate his income more. And the more he did it, the more he invested. So it was like a non-stop going up, you know, like, like non-stop um, thing that like like rocket, like help that helped him skyrocket his fucking uh, income and all of his progress and his knowledge by so much. Just like think about it. If you have like if you even have some books from people that actually did what you wanted to do and you use that to your advantage to actually make some money as well. Think about how much more you're gonna make a year. Like just try to just try to invest all your money right now into education, communities, books, mentorship. Give it give it one year. If you if you like if you really focus on that for a whole year and you every day you work hard towards it, you're gonna be making at least five to ten K a month. But if you put in 50 to 100 to 200 euros a month and do nothing else, you're going to get, you're going to make 100 euros, maybe. I think it's going to be way less. Just, just because you put in some money. Bro, it's lazy. Think about it. You're putting in some money and then you're not just doing anything. Bro, that's not how life works. If it would be that easy, everybody would be rich, bro. Think about it a little bit. Why would you spend 60 years of your life trying to become rich and not doing anything, literally not doing anything, and being an old ass you can't, who can't even fucking walk and go to his Ferrari and drive to somewhere before sleep, like before falling asleep on the wheel? Th- that's going to be you in 60 years, bro. But if you do it now, in the 5, 10 years from now, you're going to still be young. You're going to still be able to enjoy life. You're going to be older, of course, but you're going to be able to walk. You're going to have like th- half of your life or even more to enjoy. But if you do that now when you wait until, you, until you're fucking 60, of course it's going to be way harder for you to enjoy those things because you can't even walk. You're falling asleep easily. You don't give a fuck about the cars, the money, the watches. You already lived your life. Why the fuck would you need the money, right? That's a stupid way of thinking, bro. It's really tough having all those, all this fucking pressure on us. Because we're still fucking young, we're still kids, bro. But think about it. We can use this knowledge, we can use this opportunity that we have in front of us to make some money so that we don't have to work shitty jobs that we fucking hate and kill ourselves because we fucking hate our lives. Help our fucking family, help, help them improve, help them not have to be so stressed about work and help like be able to travel wherever we want do whatever we want buy whatever we want whenever we want provide for our families bro and actually love doing it i believe you should be doing this for yourself but if you can do it for yourself if you don't want to do it for yourself do it for your family at least invest in your education bro stop wasting time